Now, you see, this is the point I made that Hagainde was never minister. He was put at Grand Thornton by someone else for convenience. And uh, he, with no experience, and uh, he was not an accountant, he is an economist like me. So when he's put as the lead negotiator, he was depending on the accountants behind him, who were professional accountants. He's not an accountant. Sometimes people think that he knows the numbers. Look, if economists know, know numbers, then I know more numbers because I've practiced. For him, he has just advised selected clients. So he was responsible for advising the ministry, the government, the minister of finance on privatization of specifically Livingstone Intercontinental Hotel called Moseotunya Hotel. Now, what has arisen out of that? I think I have clearly said, I have had this, you say. Oh, but he's not the only shareholder. For, no, 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 no. I think that I want to be very logical today. Please He's be. not the only shareholder. He should never, ever have, ever, ever been a shareholder. What he did is criminal. What he did is what we call confidence trickster. You see, as a, I, 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 I'm saying that we privatized the Southern Sun. And South, I mean, Intercontinental Hotel was sold as part of this overall privatization. There were some projects in the kit which were supposed to be sold or liquidated. And I will list them. One, DBZ. Uh, if you go to cabinet office and ask the secretary to cabinet now to give you my first memo to cabinet was a memo which I urged the cabinet to rescind the privatization of the following assets. One, not safe. Two, a building society. Three, DBZ. Four, state insurance. Five, ZAMSID. And I gave reasons for each one of them. When you think of NATSEV at the time, it was just a building. So I realized that if you say you are privatizing NATSEV, you're just giving out a building. I also went to cabinet and told them to take out some assets from ZCCM package now the public pension fund they will tell you they are in cairo road because i managed to convince angry american that this uh, memaco house i'm taking <laughs> and i'm taking this one as minister and i went back to public pension fund they were somewhere in a, a small room in a, in a, in nyumbayanga hey comrades here's an asset move the people when you went there you find people couldn't even stay where now at least i say when they arrive in town, they go to that house. So, coming back to Intercontinental, what Hagainde did is equivalent to a trickster. I want to be very clear. I have been inundated with the cyber bullying. It doesn't matter how much you bully me. It doesn't matter. And you young people who are followers of Hagainde, you are being inspired to bully your mother. On a, on a cyber network. This is the same president who knows that most of his followers, the young people who are coming, maybe 50 or so on the Facebook and butting into my, my line. I don't read this page anyway. Uh, they are online. And instead of telling them something constructive, they are abusing me, they are insulting me. But this is the same president who has gone to court this week to sue the Electoral Commission, to restrain the Electoral Commission from introducing online registration. I mean, young people don't want to go and queue up in a long line to start and register to vote. So what is it? And we cannot run this country as if UPND is the only party in this country. If he really wanted us to put our heads together, he should say, colleagues, what do you want? And that's how you work. So when he was transaction advisor to government at no point as transaction advisor should he have put his fingers in the in the basket and collect shares for himself he never declared interest that's criminal if you call others corrupt stand on a pedestal of cleanliness we have heard i'm telling you that in the 1996 we are campaigning on no 
the brutality of the police. No, the economy is not doing well. That's the campaign. But if you say others are corrupt, be clean. I want to say from the outset that what he did is professionally incorrect and is criminal. He, he says that I was sleeping. You see? And most of his supporters are, call, are, 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 are saying on the Facebook, why didn't you realize that he was cheating? Now, you know what? If I go to an advisor, and I ask them, I say, look, advise me on the value of this vehicle. I go to an assessor. Advise me on the value of this vehicle. They will either undervalue it because they have an interest, or they will advise me the correct price because they have the interest of the client at hand. If the government at the time had the tools to advise itself, do you think we would have gone and hired him to be our advisor? We hired him because we fervently believed that he was going to advise government with his whole heart and the Zambian spirit in his soul. But then he, he goes behind our back, incorporates a, a, a company, and says that this is a foreign company. This is the same man who came to my office and said that the Southern Sun directors wanted to import sand for building of, most of this facility. I said, hey, come on, man. Uh, you mean there's no sand in, sand in Chief Mukuni area? And then he said, look, as a part of the hotel, they need to have unfettered access to the national park. At, it's at that point that I said to them, listen, before I go to cabinet, my story to cabinet, tell me what I must go and say. How about all these people who have bid, Marasa Holdings, what, what, uh, they've bid higher prices. Why this one? His words were, Madam Minister, that's what he used to call me, Madam Minister. Uh, these others just want the keys. When they go in, they clean the, the rooms and they start operating the hotel as is. But this bid, they will raise down the hotel, they will put 250 rooms, they will put new facilities, they will do investments. And it was attractive. And it's not like he walks into my office, I sign, I get the papers, do a cabinet memo, and go to cabinet, to brief cabinet. And the same questions that I asked him were the same questions that were, were given to me. At no point did it occur to me that this young man, as he calls himself young man, was actually a confidence trickster because he also said that besides them wanting to bring in sand from abroad they wanted to import cement it's at that point i told them we have our chilanga here they said that the price of cement at chilanga was higher i said okay i know what you can do go to them i didn't call chilanga go to them and say that you want a border price meaning the the landed price of cement from south africa should be the price that Chilanga cement is going to charge. But at no, over my dead body, are you going to import cement from Chilanga? Little did I know, when he was saying Southern Sun, he was talking about himself. The other issue which I put in there was that I wanted the community in Livingstone to have communal shares, community shares. It was never my dream that community shares be nationalized as in the person of Chief Mukuni. And I need government to look into this. What because you... government doesn't but... die. I was minister. I'm still minister. I was minister for the Republic of Zambia. And by virtue of that, I'm still minister. So I'm here. I can give evidence in court that it was never my intention that one chief gets his shares. So the government needs to look at the following. How much money has Chief Mukuni received from this project? And what does he spend it on? Does he spend it on the community? Do they have a chief's council to say, this is our income from Southern Sun, what do we use it? My, my dream, my dream has always been decentralization. My dream has always been that if in our chiefdoms we could have equivalent of native funds, then our young people, our children, our mothers, those smart kids in the villages can be sponsored to go to school. You can have a chief building a, a hospital. You can have a chief building a school. This is what ha is happening in other countries like uh, Ghana, South Africa. You have chiefs who have trusts. 
Now, I, I, you know, when I see my father, Chief Mukuni, in flash cars, I, I obviously just assume that, ah, Bana Bakuchundu, they are okay. So I'm sure they are looking after my father. And the government also needs to move in and look at how we structure chiefdoms. We need to have a common policy that investors in an area who take up facilities, the funds should not be at the behest and benefit of one individual. Because you find that the chiefs are giving large tracts of land and uh, maybe these investors are pay me, paying homage to one, one chief. I think we need to say a chiefdom is a collective. So these are the issues. For me, the issues in this matter is not about controversy. They are real. I have said, at what point did he have the shares? How much did he pay? And how much has he earned? Because my national park is attached to that project. And income is going to the account of Southern Sun, which income is only at the benefit of the foreign directors and the those Zambians who find themselves. But you know what he should have done at the time? It's not to say that Zambians shouldn't own business. That's not my statement. What he should have done, he should have realized that he, he has an interest. He wants to be part of the project. He should simply have said he cannot be chairperson of the advising the government because I also want to participate as a bidder. That's noble. That's correct. So anyone who is insulting me, it doesn't matter how much you insult me. Mulen shinga fe bata. Vane, munshebwa aide nama fikubuko. All you need to do is turn back towards the person you want to support. The best way to support him to say, look, either he owns up and says I made a mistake, and we move on and he hands over those shares back to government. And those foreign investors, how did they dupe us? How, because in South Africa, they couldn't have done that. That gentleman but, but who owns me, Sun City, yes. he couldn't to have me, done that in South me, Africa Madame, or Europe. Yes. Why, why, why did, what, Let, what motivated them to that? Would it be wrong if people speculate and say, maybe the price offered was high, and therefore uh, there must have been backroom discussion to say, Pay, pay the government six million, the balance give me in shares and do this like this. Those are speculations which can be viable and easy. Fine, madam. Uh, I know that uh, uh, Mr. Hakainde Ichilema, well, probably he will not even have a chance to defend himself with all that you are bringing up. But uh, the he big can question. Have, you can no, give but, him but, one, two hours here. But there, he can are, defend himself. But there are spe speculations in some sectors of society, including uh, himself, uh, uh, who is suggesting that uh, uh, you have become a surrogate of the ruling patriotic front uh, because you keep taking on him. And I want to question you why are you bringing up this matter now, when in the actual fact you even went in an alliance with him and with okay. the UPND at some point. I mean, are you also trying to say that people, are you decampaigning so that people cannot no, vote for him? No, listen, far from it. The Hakainde, we made him president of UDA in our home. Which was an alliance. It was an alliance, which he, which he walked from nowhere. Because Gary Combo has said, this woman is angry, this woman is mean, this woman, they've done everything to characterize me, to try and pull me down. But you must know, colleagues that the more you pull me down, you are not pulling yourselves up. Now, they say that I'm a surrogate of the ruling in party. Fact, the, me, in fact, I it have... has gone to an extent that uh, uh, you're actually being prepared to be running mate for His Excellency That's what he has told you. for 2021. That's what he has told you. Who prepares? That's what, no, that's what people no, are saying. Z Zakaria, people. Me, in, when in, you... the, in, in, the, in the court that you are being a surrogate. Listen, this is the cyber bullying which is going on. I am leader of a political party. Even in 2016, Hakainde's team were are on record as having said that I had met President Lungu and we had agreed that I'm going to be his minister of finance. Was I his minister of finance? Did you see me campaigning with the PF and President Lungu? It was uh, uh, Mutati. They never targeted Mutati. But it was very obvious the way Mutati was carrying himself that between PF and, and MMD, uh, MMD mm. they had a pact. Now, that having flopped, 
they then came up with a story that I was going to be his vice president. I think you saw my broadcast on movie TV. I said, I am president of FDD and I'm going to be on the ballot paper. You understand that? Mm -hmm. I am president in this country. I am the only viable female presidential candidate. You understand that? Right. So, what they do as UPND is to try to pull me down, associate me with, with what they think, is, they say, oh, Lungu is corrupt, Lungu is corrupt. So, if they associate me with that, they think that their story is, oh, Edith is also there, and therefore, don't think about it, think about me. He thinks that he can dig holes for me, but what he has done is he's falling into those holes. Now, the point but here, he no, it. no, no, the yeah. point here, the yeah. point here is he is this. Don't depart from the core business. Did Hakainde declare interest? The answer is no. Did, did, did has Hakainde got shares in Southern Sun? The answer is yes. So where is the collusion with the PF there? He should just say, yes, I have shares. This is how I bought them. The, then we understand how we bought them. Right now I'm making a further allegation. Why would entire why would entire assume now that maybe the price was higher and therefore he, he had a, a, a hand behind him, himself saying okay I'll go to that woman and she's sleeping I'll show her that is six point five meanwhile my shares uh, this maybe give me an extra uh, three million in terms of shares I want to know how he acquired these shares. That's non-political, it's economic. It but is, can, it is the theft of public assets. Let's assume it is me who had attacked those shares, Zakaria. What would you say today? Now, let, he says we were, MMD were like monkeys in a maze field. For him, he was like a baboon. Maybe a chimpanzee in a maze field. Uh, look at uh, my colleagues. Today, we are putting one of them to rest. Mm. Can you say they were rich? Can you say General Tembo died a rich man? Can you actually sit back and say uh, Honorable Kashita died a rich man? Don't you see my, my, my uncle, New State Zimba? Is he as wealthy as Haka Inde? How old is New State Zimba? Are you saying, I, can you actually justify? This is what infuriated me. The Pharaoh used the confidence, the, the, the tricksterism, and he comes back and say you are playing. When I go to a consultant, it means that I don't know what I want. At what I point? want the consultant to advise me. At what point? So if the consultant mm. doesn't advise me correctly, that is a faulty advice. And in their professional circles, I think it's a shame. But what, my, what worries me is that you sound as if you only knew about this yesterday. How far back do you no, know about all this? Look, and why we, bring it up now? That's why. No, I didn't I am, bring I'm it not... up. I, Zakaria, please mm. save me the agony of repeating myself. I know you say HH brought it up because he yes, mentioned you yes, in, yes. in the previous but, interview. But listen, the issue that people want to know where the source of his wealth came from has been on the market for a long time. I've not commented on that. I've been. Quiet. Why not? Now. Why not? I, I, you could have I, I, I you, also you? assumed, like everybody else, that he, this is a smart kid. Like he says, education is an equalizer. But I always wondered, what was his net worth before privatization? Where was he living? Because all of a sudden, after, I think, 2000, you find him in Savo Road. Where was he living? He should actually be on air and say, I lived in uh, Rhodes Park, house number X. Me, I can... Be, happily say I was at Pensby Court and Yellow Bill Court. You understand mm. that? Now, uh, himself, he's been too opaque. He says, he, he behaves like Trump and says, I'm, I, I don't need to tell you. He says that. Doesn't he have I, the right not to? No, no, no. no. As, a, as a public person, no. That's why he, he, they, he comes out in the Panama Papers. I think the Panama Papers come out in the last two years that he actually has offshore accounts. Is it me who revealed the Panama Papers? Now, this issue, himself, he brought it up. He says, I was sleeping. And then I thought, let me look deep. Why was I sleeping? I found out. Ah. You know, sometimes you wake up a sleeping dog. Eh? He, 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 I said, so, ah, he's a shareholder. Oh, Mukun is also a shareholder. I thought it was a trust. Mind you, after privatization, we left. We went to, I think you know that we exited the uh, uh, MOMD. Right. Yes. When was the uh, uh, Southern Sun commissioned? It was commissioned by President Manawasa. Was I in government? 
No. When did Hakainde take up the chairmanship of Southern Sac? Was it during the first MMD or during Manawasa's reign? All these are questions. And, and his colleague, uh, Kombo, says he was offered. He would, you would be stupid to refuse such an but offer. But, madam, you should have raised the red flag on that. But these issues are coming. They say that, you know, he's chairman of, of, um, of Southern Sun. And uh, you, you look around and say, well, maybe, how did he become? And it wasn't like a, a big issue. It becomes a big issue when you start to look in the documents. In the documents, and you go to Parker and see that these are the shareholders. How did he become a shareholder? What time did he become a shareholder? And why has he been chairman in perpetuity? It means that he has a controlling share, maybe. You see that these are critical issues which only he himself can answer. So when you say, Why didn't you raise a red flag? Why didn't you also read the red flag? No, because did I, didn't have, I didn't have the information that you had, especially that no, you even sat with him I, and had negotiations. I want, I want you to know that most of the information that I now know, I have known it now. That is a shareholder, not just... I thought he was a non-executive chairperson. And I found it odd. But I've, I raised it in a number of forums. But you know, some people are chairpersons of companies they privatize. If you go to the record, it's just that we Zambians... We like to think in compartments of one day, one week. If you go to the record, I'm a record as having said, listen, how come some people are chairpersons of Southern Sun? And the answers don't come. He says he's smart, he's smart, he's smart. He's smarter than some of us, you know. Uh, some of us never uh, had issues in uh, schools. But uh, I'm telling you, you cannot say you are smart because... Your, your, you, the people you are advising don't understand the document you are dealing with. If I, if I go to the auditors and they misadvise me, do you come to the directors and say, why didn't you see? The auditors are the ones who are supposed to see. The transaction advisor is supposed to advise you on how the transaction is supposed to look, what the best price should be, and what... If, what what benchmarks you should put in there that's why they are called advisors you are only as good as your advisor and my advisor i'm telling you misdirected me my ad, by by way of not disclosing their interest so if he's a smart man uh, probably you would want uh, uh, a smart man for the nation could he be the right candidate 2021 <laughs> Well, that is a matter that people should judge because uh, I, 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 I was saying to someone, if one minister was sleepy, what will happen when the whole country is sleepy? This uh, president says that uh, uh, Naminwe, he bought from the, the heirs apparent from 100 years ago. I want to put it on record. At no time, post-independence, did communal land by the plains become part of Taito? You can't go, even if he had bought, even if he had bought with the fact that the, the plains, the, 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 where people are grazing, is part of the Taito. As a prospective leader, he should have taken the interest of the community at heart. There is... Mr. Walia, I think you go to Pakra, you will see that it's Sani Hakainde in, in the documents. No, 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 please, the word lying. Can you, can you, can you, let, can you let him, can you let him, can you let her, can you let her respond to you, Anthony? Well, you, you, you asked a question, Anthony, you asked a question, please just. Just uh, allow her to respond to your question. Listen to me. Hakainde called Hot FM and said that he wanted to respond. Please. No, no, no. I know. I, I know. Well, Anthony, Anthony, I know, Anthony. Unless you want the answer. If I, you don't want the answer, then I can probably move forward. Listen. I, unlike me, my friend Hakainde has the male community in this country on his, on his side. 
what we need is for Hakainde himself to come on air and tell us how Hakainde of 14 stroke 3 appears on the documents of Sun International in 1997. Now, and he has he has a mouth, he has been challenged. Let, let, let her, Anthony, No, Anthony, I haven't concluded, Anthony. Anthony. Let, let her respond as to who are the shareholders on Sun, like you asked. It's, yes, like it's you Mr. Asked. Mukuni, the, the, the company was incorporated in that year, which you say, the shareholders are Hakainde, uh, Sani Hichilema. Tell me who Sani Hichilema is of 14 stroke 3. No, let me finish. You said who? You said who? And I don't know why you colleagues from UPND or from the business community are so yeah. agitated. You need to listen to my answer because your attempt is that if you shut me up, then you have won. And then you go to Facebook and start, start criticizing. You have this platform you, the, the, no, I haven't answered the question. I think she's still listing the shareholders. Like you asked me who are the shareholders. Yes, is let it, her is finish it, is it Haka, The document was, the company was incorporated and there were four directors. Mukuni in Livingstone and Sani Hichilema of 14 stroke 3A Savo Road. Now you need to tell us that Sani Hichilema is not Haka Inde. But why don't you get airtime on your own and come and clear it? Why don't you get airtime and come and clear? Come again? Who are, who are those two? But is it correct, Anton? Is it? You see, I'm listening to you. You want to cut me short. Excuse Thank me. You. you are a professional. Okay. Anyway, you are a spokesperson for... He's, he's a UPND member, by the way. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a UPND member. He's like a... Uh, the MP thank for Anthony, for, thank you. Uh, he's like the MP for Mazabuka. Thank you. No, you, not you. Hakainde Hichilema needs to deal with it. Hichilema himself is not dead. He's alive. Let him deal with it. Thank you. Uh, All right. To both to both of you to both of you, I would say thank you very much uh, on that uh, score. Uh, well, like you said. Uh, we'll probably have to leave it to... to, to I want to say very clearly. I want to say clearly. All these people are running to the defense of Hichilema. They are forgetting what I have said. Mm. Professional misconduct and, uh, and non-declaration of interest. Did Hakainde Hichilema declare that after selling the asset, he was going to be a director on the board? And he earns an income from pecuniary gains which he got by virtue of him a transaction being a transaction advisor to the government now these people who are rushing to the defense of haka inde uh, this mr Nkombo said how could you refuse such an offer can you as a professional in this country in the accounting circles take up directorship of a company which you have advised within a period of 10 years. Even at Zika, themselves at Zika, they say that's not correct, that is not right. So the truth is, now when you say they are directors, they are earning income from there. And how long has he been director? And how come Sani Hakainde was put as a, a, a shareholder in the 
Sani Hichirema. If you look at the documents, mm. one is Hichirema, one is Hakainde. But Sani is common to both names. And what was the intention? Before privatization, before privatization, there was no declaration of interest. If you can even say, no, he became director after five years or ten years, that's acceptable, maybe. But before privatization, he is coming to my office and saying, these foreigners want these assets on the following terms, and he's already direct on that. Uh, give me something else, Babu Adia. Let me uh, take another one. Uh, good morning. How are you? Sorry, I want to answer you. You can continue speaking. Please, I, I don't think that I don't, I want to, no, no, I don't. in this country don't respect women some mm. as so you had that other one who was literally abusive and when they come on air they don't come with facts they want to say you are lying because i'm lying like i'm at a market or something uh, now mm. uh, you've seen that uh, our men have risen to the defense of their own and that's what keeps me going and as politicians, when you are asked, why do you go to the market? You say, I go to the market because I have to get a living there. It is not a crime to ask Haga Inde, Ijirema, Musa, Wagabadera, Utima, share. If he has no shares, he should say, I don't have shares. I'm a director, and these are my income. That's all. It's a normal question which would put everything to rest. As long as he continues to send his puppets to talk, then this debate will rage on and i'm not going to stop it until because you see I, I was told i'm sleeping i'm a complainant in this matter that i had an advisor who duped me i said from the beginning that it was not my intention that mukuni holds the shares in himself as a person if he's just a director what he ends where is the mukuni trust which was supposed to be in there how much do they earn from this? How much goes to the community? That's all I'm asking. And if Yagainde is a director, when did he become director? How and why? Is it the reason why there was an undersell, a, a, a misadvice, a faulty advice? Now, I even went, I was very generous in, the, in my presentation that, look, he, as a professional, said the other bidders, are not offering any development funds. This bidder is offering $50 million. And look, we are going to have activities. At the time, Livingstone was dead. No activities. From this sale, we went to the EU and got money for investment in Livingstone Airport. And I say, on a first value, this was a good arrangement. I've said that. And someone asked me, you give him credit? I yes. What we are at issue with is his either shareholding or directorship on this company. Because it presents and smacks of conflict of interest. Any professional worth they are sought should actually stand up with me and say, this is wrong. Because you are the same people who are calling politicians corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. What has the private sector in this country got to account for? The people who do business with the government are the private sector. What are you standing on as a private sector? If you want to wash this under the carpet and say, this is normal. You were asking me in the discussion, mm. what was the role of Dr. Matani in the purchase of maize? Mm. I explained. Mm. As, a ma as a community member of the private sector, a tender is advertised that we want maize. And he comes and says, we have a bid, we have a supplier here, the price is so many dollars per ton and they want just the 10% and you don't have money sure as a as a even as my my brother is not here i can say that was a correct decision 
and people don't understand how decisions are made in government. It's not as if Yaga Inde brought the papers and I signed. Put them together. The PS is there, Secretary to the Treasurer. There's legal, uh, Minister of Legal Affairs. There's the, the Treasury Secretary, the lawyer for the government. They look at it, they package a cabinet memorandum. You brief cabinet until cabinet says, go ahead and sign. That's when you sign. As for ZPA, they sit together. They have a board. They make a decision, they pass it on. Now, all those processes were clean and open. What was not open, which is still translucent, is the directorship of the transaction advisor to government on this company. You can defend it at Zika's, you can defend it at Gulf Coast. It still smacks of conflict of interest. And that's your concern? That's my concern.